All right, y'all, so we're back with another VV Anikomi video. In this one, we'll be talking about the Omi token and how it was almost listed on an exchange, but it didn't quite make it. And essentially what I feel happened. Now, obviously, it's just my own personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I just give my own opinion and share my thoughts. Um, I think that it was an interesting move to try to join this vote. And if you don't know what's basically going on, it's, the Komi team put the Omi token on this exchange little poll where if you if you won, you got listed. That that's how they went about it. And I mean, that's a step. That's doing something. But one thing that you'll notice about this is it's a, a free step. Instead of paying to get the token listed on an exchange, or or um yeah, something like that, they just said, let's see if we can get it done for free. Um the concern for me when it comes down to the OMI token is they're not willing to invest in the OMI token or if they're willing to invest in the OMI token, no exchange actually wants the OMI token. It's one or the other. The team themselves are not willing to invest in the OMI token and you can go on for the next two, three years saying that, oh, they're just waiting for the perfect time. They were in the middle of a bull run making tons of money. Like literally the secret rare Spider-Man alone was worth $100,000 at one point in time. So VV was balling um, and they, they, they was rolling in the dough. And there was still, I mean, to be fair, they're still rolling in the dough as far as their sales and everything goes. Now, I know that there's licensor fees and all this stuff, but at the point where like how much is a licensor actually getting at the point where you can't afford to do nothing to actually move this business forward um what concerns me is their inability to an unwillingness to invest in themselves most of us in the community who came from the from the investing space we are taking this we're investing we're, we're investing we're willing to invest in our beliefs and companies and our our you know, we're taking a chance with these investments. It doesn't feel to me like Vivi is taking a chance on themselves. They're using their old notoriety in licensing and securing a bunch of cool licenses, which is great, but they have not taken much of a risk or chance outside of that. They spoke up a good game. They they spoke good. They talked very, very good, but they haven't actually delivered anything that they said that they would. They haven't created a Ready Player One. They haven't created a Metaverse. The real Ready Player... They've been saying that they were going to create Ready Player One so long, the real Ready Player One has actually came and started to create Ready Player One. It's insane. VV started off ahead, and that's why it sounded believable. Now the real Ready Player One's here. Now there's actual real metaverses here. Now you have things like Spatial that has all VV's IP. And you can say that, oh, they don't have the right to have VV's IP. Um, and then you you that's, that's a very, very great argument. But... When Spatial gets taken down, if it gets taken down, then there's just going to be another project to replace it. This is going to be another person still in the IP to replace it. That's that's what it comes down to. So that's I'm not going to go on a tangent about all the potential, um, all the potential negatives. But the fact of the matter is, the Omi token lost this vote because VV was not willing to pay. Um, a lot of the competitors, a lot of meme coins, the meme coins and stuff like that, they were putting up hundreds of thousands of dollars to boost their standing in this vote. Like that that's what happened. Like if you put if you put money up, you got a higher placement. And that's what VV was unwilling to do. They were un unwilling to really put money up. They were unwilling to spend to get listed on an exchange. But the competitors weren't. The meme coins weren't. The coins that's so in insignificant, the the coins that everybody jokes about. Oh, you you you're talking about shit coins. You're promoting shit coins. Like, I've made tens of thousands of dollars from shit coins, and this community looks down on shit coins. Yet the shit coins are literally outspending a company partnered with the most successful brands in the history of mankind. Shit coins are doing this. It, it's insane, and I don't know how long. It people are are supposed to accept that. Oh, they're just building. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the plan. 
let's let's so the plan like just follow me the plan was to come out promise a lot of things to investors using the omi token you use the omi token investors money to build the vv app after you build the vv app you stop showing any interest in the omi token whatsoever you plan for this business to do well skyrocket go up fast and then slowly not because people have lost interest in the items but because people have lost faith in you 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 everything just starts to crash come down you then start to shut off you, you take away people's ability to cash out you stop transfers you do all of these things to destroy your own platform and all of this is part of the grand vision meanwhile a bunch of competitors are out here building and being successful and even a bunch of shit coins are outperforming you it's like it's one thing to be building and constantly be building and going in the right direction it's another thing to just have fuck up after fuck up after like you're making mistake after mistake people are losing money here people are losing money there like exchanges are going down because you have things on exchanges that you didn't properly vet when you so-called have a crypto ex a crypto team it's like you have a crypto team and that's the one area that nothing is getting done in and no questions get asked or answered when it comes down to this and then i'm a villain for questioning the things that no one else seems to want to question you just want to have f blind faith you want to know how i think this whole voting process came about what i believe happened is someone like foster suggested we need something done this is free let's try to jump in and get this done it'll bring the community together it'll send the picture that we're working on this it's exchange news listed on the the twitter account it's something happening with an exchange we have to keep some momentum and interest going and let people know that we're working so let's do something free or very inexpensive maybe I, if i'm recalling correctly maybe they put down a hundred thousand dollars which by the way the meme coins was doing like 250,000 250,000 like basically if they put down anything at all it was insignificant compared to what a bunch of shitter projects was doing but somebody like foster said we need to get something done you're not willing to spend so let's just do this then another similar instance of something like this with this company has happened when hello k was talking about the rates that they were offering to get developers for this space it was money that a developer at his level would never even get up out of bed for he would not take this opportunity seriously him and the developers that he knew were looking at that and laughing you had a developer like trevor who ended up leaving he ended up leaving and he's been successful everywhere else he's gone to and he's enjoying everywhere else a lot more people who get too close to vv outside of people who are in too deep people who get too close to vv start to lose faith in vv the very first the very first example of this was ben gadenzi the guy who ended up suing ecomi that was the first sign of this when he ended up suing this company and it's not because he lost faith it's just because they didn't and from his perspective they didn't keep their word they didn't give him what he was promised and what he was owed he did his part they did not do theirs um i mean at the at one point in time i didn't ne i never wanted to hear him out or he really hear what he had to say i just wanted to be on vv's side and prove that that that's untrue because it can't be true how could that be true i love vv vv is is, is special it's it's a revolutionary idea it's amazing like that was my mindset at one point in time then the more you see these patterns the more you realize the same pattern has been happening with people who's working at this company time and time again what's crazy is all the blame gets put off onto these people yet everyone reese i think reese is still mainly positive when he speaks out in the community but i mean Reese is racking in bag bags from from Vivi like Andy Comey like why would he say like 
he's taken a step back. When he, as soon as he started selling, he took a step back and just got quiet. He's distanced himself from saying much of anything. Then you like 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 I said, situation with Ben. Then you had Trevor. Then you had um K pointing out how the money that they were offering, they were not willing to spend money to get actual good developers. They were not willing to do that. Then if you spend any proper amount of time in the meme coin community, you realize these are a bunch of developers from Silicon Valley and like Basically, these are some of the best developers in the world that you're going to find coming onto these meme coin projects. So these developers see Disney, they, they see Marvel, they see Batman, they see all of this stuff, and they would rather go to a meme coin than come anywhere near Vivi and anywhere near Ecomi. Listen, I just put together a lot of pieces. I... I this is why I expand my horizons beyond just the bubble that I'm in with people trying to preserve their bags. A lot of people at the height of VV, all the momentum, and, and trust me, I am so glad I was broke at the time when VV really took off because I probably would have pulled a Randy as well. I would have probably poured everything I had into it because that was my level of faith. Luckily, everything I had was around somewhere around $3,000. Now, obviously, I made out very well from that investment, but I, it's because I got out at the right time. And it's it's crazy that I could be someone stuck. But the thing is, if I was stuck at some point, I would have probably just cut my losses. I would never be the one out here just literally still pumping bags. Because, well, I, I can't say that. If I'm sitting here, if I put every single thing I, I would... I would have blinders on. I would probably want to keep up hope too if everything that I had has gone into this project. I would have to sit there, wait it out, hope that they finish building, hope that something happens. I would not want to sit here and look at all the competitors building and look at all the other metaverses. Look at everything that VV is going to have to actually compete with once they pull off a half decent metaverse. Because you get people coming into VV's metaverse and saying, Oh, it has potential, it is amazing, it works perfectly and flawlessly, but how many of those people are actually out here playing in other metaverses? How many of these people actually have experience in other meta in all the competition that's supposed to be drunk? Like, Vivi is supposed to be pulling people and pulling attention away from all these other metaverses and everything else other people are building outside of Vivi. Their, their, their goal in building a metaverse is going to be to pull those people away from what's already out there. Yet, we're getting told that Vivi's metaverse is very, very good from people who don't even explore what else is out there. How does that even add up? How does that make sense? How is it logical in the slightest? At the end of the day, Vivi is not willing to bet on themselves. They're willing to bet on their ability to license and sell, which they've done that. They, they've, they've, got, they've secured the licenses and they are selling. And they've created a whole nother platform to sell some more. So they can keep making money and the licensors can keep making money. Uh, the constant theme is them make money, licensors make money, the average person like me and you get screwed. That is it. That has been the pattern from the beginning in my eyes, that is my opinion. The pattern has been, they make money, the licensors make money, that's all they really care about. The success, the early on success, some people got in, got some good returns and stuff like that, it was just, I don't think that that was intended, but the problem is, we were told from the team at one point in time, from Dan himself, that we want people to be able to quit their jobs and work full time in the metaverse. We want Batman to be scaling walls. All these broken promises and all these lies are not okay. And then if you want to question them about this, the you have gatekeepers of spaces who won't allow certain people to even have conversations with them. The, the, the few times they even come around these days. And then, of course, these gatekeepers are not going to ask any tough or difficult questions. 
all the people that's left in the community right now are constantly engaging uh, engagement farming and how would i know i've been a youtuber for the last decade i have gotten serious views for the last decade hundreds of thousands of views i am popular in fortnite i'm popular in mobile legends i am popular in just entertainment black entertainment in general if you don't know who i am i don't care I am extremely popular and successful in these arenas. So I know when someone is sitting around engagement farming, everything people accuse me of, it would be stupid for somebody at my level to be doing it within the VV community because when I started posting VV, there was no community to even leech from or to build from or to do anything from. I brought that energy. There was other content creators who posted more videos before I came but those videos they were posting wasn't getting views. Nobody was listening, nobody was watching. They had just posted the project before me. When you start seeing full-time VV and Ecomi YouTubers, it's when I came in, dominated this community, blew up, people saw that there was an opportunity because they saw my rate of growth, then they wanted to jump in and do the same thing too. The first time you saw merch, where did it come from? And yes, I got permission regardless of any lies that's being told. I got permission. I talked to who I could, and I got permission from someone directly on the team. If they don't got their shit together and people giving out permission for things that they don't have permission to give out things for, that's on you. Do better business. This is the this is the problem that you have had your entire career. You all are shit at business. So then more like like all the hate and lies that get spread and directed my way, everything goes right back to VV being shit at what they do outside of licensing. And it's like, there's blinders on. And I understand why you want the blinders on. Like I said, if everything I had was put into this company, I may be different. But at a certain point, I'm cutting my losses and I'm gonna see what else the hell is out there. Like, it, it's just that simple. Like. I'm not finna stay down that long. I'm not staying down too long at all. I gotta go hard. I gotta figure it out. I gotta do a better investment. I have to find more opportunity. Just sitting here and taking it and continuing to take it for years and years and years. When you know the power of a bull run, when you know how much money is on the table, how much money can be made, it's like, man. But a lot of people don't know. A lot of people thought that the, the opportunities and money that they saw on VV was a one-off thing and it's VV exclusive. No. So much more money than, than was made throughout the whole VV platform was made in the broader space. The broader crypto space made a lot more money than anybody on VV, I'll tell you that much. But people don't know how to maneuver that space. People don't have all this information. People don't know this. Or people don't care. They're just stuck and trapped and they're gonna stick to what they're comfortable with, which is holding a, a falling bag. And I hope that it goes up for a lot of people's sake. I really do. I hope that it can recover slightly or go somewhere away from this bottom that it's been at for the longest. But I believe that something has to be done differently and something has to change. I am still a bag holder. I still have a few items. I still have a little bit of Omi. Um, this is why I, I still care about the project. I still would like to see it be successful. I would like to be wrong about some things. I'm not wrong about their behavior, the things that they've done, the way that they maneuver and act. I'm not wrong about what VV has done. They have screwed people over. They don't give a fuck about anybody but themselves. I am not wrong about that. They have shown that through action. I don't care how much they smile in your face, share drinks with you at these events and all of this other stuff. They're out for themselves. And it's crazy how crooks can put a smile on their face, shake your hand, and now suddenly they're not a crook no more. And then someone like me, who just is a straight shooter and is gonna tell you how it is, I get accused of being the crook when everything that I've said, thought, and felt was a byproduct of things that they have said and things that they have done. It's like, People need to be snapped back into reality. And I believe that we'll see, time is gonna tell. Like at the point where people, where, where VV actually pulls through and does something, people are gonna act as if they've been doing this the whole time. Oh, we told you they were building. It just took time, blah, blah, blah. No, 
you can build without doing a shitty job of maintaining your community, keeping people informed. You know why you can't keep people informed? Because you ain't figured it out yet. You don't know what the hell is going on yourself. But instead of being able to communicate, yo, we need some brainstorming sessions. We need some ideas. We need to revive this. This space is new to us. We need people who know. We need people who understand. And we need to figure out some things that we can do that's cost effective. Instead of coming to the broader space, they treated people as idiots, milked them for what they were worth, put people on shitty exchanges and risked other people's capital. They paid the people that they are, they that runs their social medias and stuff like that. They paid them under the table through the community by giving them these these lower mints and things like that. And then these lower mints get dumped on the people who've been holding who, what they thought was the lower mints. This company has just screwed over and fucked so many people. And people cannot see it. But this is just one man's opinion. What do I know? I'm just an idiot who only cares about himself, who only cares about his own bag, blah, blah, blah. All this foolishness and nonsense. I only care about my own bag when everybody is here to make money off of their own bags. I'm just a guy who is just like all of you. And actually, the reason that I don't care what any of you think of me is because I come from nothing. A lot of you, a lot of you, most of you don't come from lower than me. So for me to just man up, take the L and be like, fuck it, let me get some skills. And y'all to still be bitching? I have no sympathy for you. I'll share the information. I'll share my perspective. But I shouldn't be smarter than any of you. I shouldn't make it farther than any of you. I shouldn't. You all are supposed to be better than me. And I don't think that I'm better than anyone. I think that you all have a head start. You, sh you should take advantage of what you have. The positions that you've been blessed to be in. It's like, I can't have sympathy for you if you don't want better for yourself. If you don't want to mitigate your risk, if you don't want to care about your people and your family. And you know, it's like, if you're comfortable and happy being screwed and not demanding more and not demanding, you know, demanding people keep their word to you and keep their promises. If you're okay with that, it's nothing that I can do or say, but some people want better and some of us care about things so much we'll speak on behalf of others because trust me my bags are bigger a lot of other places than vv i don't care what happens to vv for my own benefit i care that i was once so passionate about the project that i inspired so many people and i'm associated with this project and they're fucking people over so i hope they do right for people because it's not about me as much as people like to spin that bullshit narrative, you clout chasing influencers who are only the leftover remnants of those of us who left the VV community, you'll always be below us. You're just leeches. You can sit here and coat up, make these tweets and stuff like that that try to paint us out to be the leeches, but I built this community when no one else was posting, when no one else was getting views. When I came to this community, every other channel surrounding me roles every vv channel every channel with ecomi content roles when i came through what the fuck have you done besides criticize me it is what it is and i know what i do i know my impact i've been flown out by ubisoft i've worked with tencent i've worked with netease i've worked with more million and billion dollar companies than you would probably believe but then again a lot of y'all don't do research, so you wouldn't know what the hell you're talking about anyway. So, you can keep spinning narratives, keep spinning bullshit. It's a reason that you have to go to a dead project because it's the most engagement that you've ever seen in your life. I'll continue averaging millions of views a month effortlessly. But anyway, it is what it is. Going on a rant, attention. And this is why I don't really speak on VV much, Ecomi much, because obviously I'm passionate about it and it does bother me. But it's not a bother because, oh, I'm down so bad, it's horrible. Like, I made a video when I cashed out. Do the math, go look for yourself. Do it look like I was really down that bad? The reason that I'm so passionate about this is because of you all. You all put me in this position in this community. 
I know where I came from. I can never forget the places that I come from. I always have love. Even if people turn against me, I'll always have love. We not built the same. People can bitch about me all day long. It's still love. I'll troll you and talk shit to you, but it's still love. I feel for you. But anyway, it is what it is. I digress. Have a beautiful rest of your day. We're back posting content. Won't be VV related that often, but I'll still speak on it because it was my first love in this space. You know, so it is what it is. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.